Good evening, everyone. I pray that you're having a blessed day, a blessed day. Praise God, praise God. I wanted to get up on here. First of all, I want to thank everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the condolences, for everything. Um, um, that was the brother that sometimes I would be taking him to dialysis. And so um, Wilson Rice Jr., um, I don't even know what to say. This hit just as hard as the death of my daddy. Because that was my brother from another mother. Point blank. Nothing more to say. And so um, I'm reminded. Almost happened the same way as it did with dad. Um, <laughs> we went on a fast. Remember we just started the um, 21 day down your fast on the 3rd. So he died yesterday morning. Um, I was with him. Um, we were trying to revive him and he just wouldn't come back. And, um, I know God, God is God. So nevertheless, you know, it hurts. I, I cannot pretend I've never been a faker. Sorry, but I know God. Hallelujah. And you remember, I think it was the second day of the fast. I say, whatever happens, but God, God will test you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God, but I know that he will want me to be strong. Um, yeah, so it was a hard hit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, we talked about some things, and I realized he was telling me some things, but um, I'm going to say all is well. So I want to get up on here. Thank you for all the condolences. Thank you so much for those that wrote comments, um, sent messages, phone calls. I mean, you guys have, it's been an overpouring love to the family and to myself as well. Um because I'm just like family. <laughs> he wasn't really my brother, but he was my brother, if anybody understand that. And so um, I'm taking it one day at a time, trusting in God. However, today is the fourth day of the fast. I'm still fasting. And one thing I've learned, despite of what is going on, you still got to give God his glory. You still got to God give God his mandate. You still got to do your calling. Oh, come on, somebody. And I know that's what he would want, period, in the story. And uh, I was listening to something, and I'm going to share it on my page as well. It was by Tony Robbins. Let me tell you how God, no, it was Tony Evans. I'm sorry, Tony Evans. And he was saying that when you're going to the next level, that God will send a test to see um, if you can stand. And I listened to that on the 5th. And, of course, he died yesterday morning. And I was like, God is always preparing you, although never really prepared for things. And so I just want to encourage you to stay on the fast, stand strong. This is the same thing happened um, in 2021. God had told me to go on a fast, and I'm talking about the third day daddy died. And I was like, <laughs> and actually, it was the third day for him yesterday because we started on the third, and yesterday was the sixth. So <laughs> it's okay. All is well. Yes, I am hurting. I can't lie. My eyes were so puffed that I could, there was no way I could have got up on here yesterday. I was trying. I was trying to be strong, but. It broke me down like a fraction because that was my brother. Oh, yeah. So with that being said, we're still in the fast, of course. Um, not going to break it. Mm -mm, can't do that. Secondly, whenever there's a fast like this, there will be changes. There will be tests. There will be trials. There will be tribulations. However, you keep on trusting in God. You keep on going in God because guess what? I also feel stronger spiritually. My flesh is weak, but my spirit is so strong. I can really tell you that and mean it with every fiber of my being. Hallelujah to his name. So um, keep on praying. We're praying for everybody. We're praying for families. We're praying for preachers. We're praying for the world. We're praying for sinners. We're praying. We're just praying. So don't forget to fast and pray. Really fast, pray, and obey. Do what God tell you to do. Do what God tell you to do. I'm going to say that one more time. Do what God tell you to do. Because we're in some turbulent times. But I'm going to be real with you. Just like in 2021 when this happened with my dad, I became stronger. It was weird. but And I feel stronger now. Because I know that's what he would want. And that's what people need right now. So I'm going to hold on to God's unchanging hand. God don't change. He will not change on you. I promise you that. And um, continue to fast, like I said, to continue to get in your word. That is very important. I do Bible study every night, every night. If I skip a night, I'll do, I'll double the next night. 
Very seldom I skip a night. Not trying to act all spiritual, no. In order to go where God wants us to go, to be that man or woman of God that he's called us to be, we're going to have to put in the work. And that's what's been happening. Um, this is what God has been telling me. So many people are running after, you know, success and uh, money and fame until we're running everything after everything but God. And that's why you're not seeing people healed and delivered, especially out there. You see, the reason why we have a problem in the church and the reason why they have a problem out there is we have forgot our first mandate. Our first mandate is salvation. We stop witnessing. When we see people hurting, we talk about them instead of pray for them. Come on, somebody. Somebody be a scribe for my full of power of God. Hallelujah to his name. We love to talk. But really walking that Christ-like walk is praying for people and letting them know, you know what? God got you. God got you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm not going to judge you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because all have fallen short of the glory of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So doing this fast, I'm, going, I'm still going to get up on here. It, it was hard for me to get up on here tonight, but I know what I have to do. That's why I put a little bit more makeup on, you know, because like just trying to spruce myself up. By the Spirit, he said, not by might, not by power, but by my Spirit. It's real. See, the stuff that's going on, it's real too. But nothing like the Holy Ghost. Nothing like the power of God. Nothing like the presence of God. You can't beat it. You can't buy it. You can't fake it. Mm, some can, but let me tell you something. Only in the presence of God, people are changed. Only in the presence of God, people are healed. Only in the presence of God, people are delivered. Only in the presence of God. So now I got to fast more so because I'm around a lot of broken people. People are hurting, not just because of this death, but in the world period, people are hurting. They're hurting where you at. And I always said to myself, I, that's what Jesus did, in case you don't know. Everywhere Jesus went, he looked and he saw who was hurting. And he went and sat by him. He positioned himself so he can see who was hurting and who needed him. That's what we're supposed to be, to be Christ-like. And he didn't, he didn't want to be in the front all the time. He sat in the back. Scholars say that he sat on the back of every place he went. He didn't sit to the front because he can pan the room and see who needed a touch. Hallelujah. But you can't give what you don't have. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So that's why we pray. That's why we fast. So that when we see that person, our persons going through, we can touch him, God. Touch him, God. Through me. Use me as a can do it. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Now we were praying for my brother to get healed. But may I tell you. He is. Oh come on somebody. He's more dangerous than he ever was. Because now he's with God. I know that to be a fact. Hallelujah. You see he's healed. Sometimes we want people healed on this side. And God said I'm going to heal them on that side. Oh come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to take them home with me. I'm going to bring them home with me. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And then they become more dangerous. Why? Because now they're a spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So, I want to encourage you tonight to keep on that fast. And if you're not on the fast, you should join us. What does fasting do? It realigns everything. Your body, your mind, your flesh, your soul, your spirit. It realigns everything. Not to mention what it does for people that have sickness in their body or disease or anything. It re your body. Do you know your body can heal yourself? Itself? Especially... If you start eating the right foods. Now, I'm going to tell you what his death taught me. I'm going to take care of myself a whole lot better. And I, I promise and I pray that you all do it too. Now, I'm not going to preach too much about it because I know people like to eat. But I'm going to start eating healthier. I'm talking about for real. I'm all, we're already on the Daniel fast, but I'm talking about for real. I saw him go through so much. And my brothers and sisters, God been telling us to get right. Y'all know what? You know God been telling us to get right. <laughs> and that's in every area. See, God wants us to have a balanced life. You can't be so great in this area and that area is unattended. That's no balance. Hallelujah. So I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you are walking with God. I pray that you are changing. We want to see a change, but we have to be the change. So God bless you. God keep you. Let's keep on rolling. Let's keep on growing in God. Y'all know what time it is. Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> you know what? It just got real. Devil, you don't touch my family. Oh, 
Oh, I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming. Y'all think I'm playing. Mm, that pa- I can feel that power. I can feel it. See, God, all things for. Ooh, I want to start again. I want to start again. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. I- I'm going to leave y'all with a Cat Williams. It's all the way up 2024. Mm. All right. Much love, everybody. Bye-bye.